What's going on guys? It's OmniArk and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about how Twitch is actively encouraging a legal form of view botting. If you guys didn't know, view botting has been around since essentially the beginning of Twitch. Once Twitch started to take off as a game streaming platform, people have been attempting to artificially boost their view numbers through botting and essentially what this used to entail and still to to a degree what it entails today is getting a piece of software um, or some server or something like that some service that will basically take different fake accounts and force them to pull up your stream and you know leave them up essentially as if they were a person accessing your stream and watching it at, you know actively now to a degree twitch has you know banned people for doing this they've also uh you know Put restrictions on how people can go about doing this it used to be much easier back in the day it didn't even cost anything to get 50 or plus viewers all you needed was essentially a piece of software um, and and a bunch of IP address that you would load into that software and you could just press a button and bam you now have all sorts of people who are viewing your um, your your account um, and the reason that people would do this is to uh, essentially push them up the discovery list right so when you're browsing in a game let's say League of Legends or World of Warcraft or Call of Duty if you're one of the top five or ten people on that list you're getting way more exposure and you're much more likely to get discovered by new audience members because you're at the top of that list so people would artificially boost their numbers up to that point so that way they would get real active viewers uh, and, and that you know it's a win-win for everybody now there's a legal form of view botting and by legal I mean it's allowed by twitch and people have asked twitch if this is okay and essentially their response was either shrugging or just not responding at all but it's been around for a very long time Twitch is very aware of it um, and they have acknowledged it before and that is embedding your twitch stream in external websites right so if you guys didn't know if you go on your twitch page and you click I think it's the share button you can see um, you can actually see that they will give you an embed code that starts with a you know a, a less than sign and it gives you an iframe and you could just copy and paste that into your web code and bam you could put it right on a page on your own website if you again you have to have access to that website um, and that's a way to embed your web page and this is encouraged by twitch twitch likes when people do this because it's bringing traffic to twitch streams without people having to actually go to the website or the platform and you know this is beneficial to content creators as well because if they have their own website where they want to have it like as a central hub for things or if maybe you're you know a gaming organization that wants to kind of promote you know all of your different content creators or something like that you can have the central hub and it's great right like there's there's a million reasons why you would want to embed a twitch stream uh and twitch again encourages this by providing you the code and you know they have articles on it and everything like that now what's interesting about this and and this was actually brought to my attention by a youtuber uh he's also primarily a twitch streamer um devin nash his his account has actually been blowing up lately because of the whole phase tifu tifu thing um he has very you know massive insight into the esports scene the gaming scene the streaming scene how youtube works uh, he has, you know, a ton of knowledge on this stuff and, you know, he deserves a lot more subscribers. So I'm going to try to remember to put his link in the description below. Super, super interesting topics covered there over there on his channel. So definitely go uh, drop a, a thumbs up on his video, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Um, but I just want to give him credit for the idea for this video. Um, and essentially what he was saying is that, you know, there's, there's uh, a way to embed your, your Twitch stream in a web page without the viewer of the web page knowing. And essentially uh, what you would have to do is get uh, an embed code for your stream using HTML so instead of what twitch provides you you need an HTML code that will embed your stream uh, and also what you would do is you know instead of having a 16 by 9 standard ratio maybe a little view box where people can watch your stream uh, you can actually edit that code to make your stream a one by one pixel so essentially what that means is people don't even know that your stream is on that website that they're looking at and yet twitch still counts this as a view so long as volume is playing which is interesting because with the HTML code, you can actually, and I don't know how to do this. I've tried to figure this out myself. I don't know anything about coding or anything, but um, apparently you can change the volume to 1%. Uh, and essentially what that will do was it, it will count towards a active viewer on your Twitch stream. So yes, what I'm saying is you can embed your Twitch stream at 1% volume, taking up a single pixel on a, any particular web page that you can get access to. And anyone who's viewing that web page for whatever content is actually on the page 
uh, that will count as a view. Now this has massive implications, right? Because not only is it artificially raising your view count, because effectively the person viewing that web page, a doesn't know they're watching a Twitch stream because they're not, uh, and B they're not actively participating in the Twitch stream and C they are not viewing any of the ads that advertisers are paying to be put in front of Twitch streams. So that's huge, right? Like advertisers, uh, you know, they might think that they're reaching the, all these people, but a lot of these viewers might just be uh, coming from external sites with a one by one pixel and that ad money is just thrown in the garbage it's it's, it's a waste right like advertisers they're being fooled because the, the twitch numbers are inflated artificially by this specific method and of course we don't know how prevalent this is it's probably not as prevalent as you think because it's not that easy to get access to websites with a meaningful number of visitors and traffic on a monthly basis um but it's still happening right it is happening it's been happening for years you can find articles about this dating back to 2015. Um, i did my research this has been around for a very long time now twitch has actually tried to combat this by making muted viewers not count um so again if you were to embed your one by one pixel on a web page with the volume completely off that would not actually count as a viewer because if you guys didn't know muting a twitch stream essentially tells twitch you're not watching and therefore you don't count as a viewer like you don't actually count in that view count so again people just combated this by changing the volume from zero to one percent and uh, the results are essentially the same um there's nothing twitch can really do about that which is really really uh interesting what's interesting is that this actually goes a little bit deeper uh, i saw a couple of months ago article and a uh, story broke about um twitch promoting twitch streamers using their external website so by this i mean there is a website called gamepedia and essentially it's trying to be or it aims to be the wikipedia of gaming right so they have different uh they have DayZ content league of legends content world minecraft content everything right so it's essentially a wikipedia for gaming and there's like hundreds of thousands of articles on this web page and if you scroll to the bottom of some of these pages these individual pages um you will see an advertisement on the bottom banner and a lot of times it's a regular ad you know probably some google adwords or something like that some some advertisement um but sometimes instead of seeing an ad you actually see a random twitch streamer which is interesting and those people i believe they paid to actually get on that web page um so essentially you know you anyone who's viewing that web page and goes down to the bottom counts as a viewer to towards this Twitch stream um and this is artificially again as we talk this is artificially boosting up their view numbers now they did actually say that the Twitch stream does not load onto the page until you scroll down to it which means that you know just by hitting that page doesn't mean you count as a viewer you know where, like let's say you know you, you you land on a web page and the Twitch stream is all the way down here but you're only viewing you know this much of the web page um you know because the Twitch stream stream is down here, you don't count as a viewer because you haven't loaded that Twitch stream yet. Um, so they could have made it so that way just landing on the page will load the Twitch stream and you then count as a viewer. But instead they took a slightly more ethical route and made it so that way you only count if you scroll to the bottom and then, then you're a viewer. So I turned off my ad blocker and I tested this myself today, which is June 26th and it still works, right? It's, Gamepedia is still doing this. You can go to articles on Gamepedia and check the bottom of the page. And sometimes you will see a Twitch streamer on the bottom um, and this is kind of a win-win, right? Because Gamepedia gets to still sell their advertising space and the viewers of the webpage aren't bothered by an ad, but instead of Twitch stream, which is fine. You could just ignore it either way. It doesn't matter. Um, and it helps the Twitch streamer because now they're getting more exposure um, rather than, you know, Pepsi or whoever would have bought that ad space regardless. Um, so, you know, it's kind of a win-win, right? But the interesting part is that Gamepedia is actually owned by Curse. And if you guys didn't know, uh, Curse was purchased by Twitch. So essentially what's happening here is people are buying ad space on a Twitch website for their Twitch stream. That way they can artificially boost their view numbers for their Twitch stream using a Twitch website. So it's, it's, it's kind of like this, this loop of like, you know, is this allowed? Yes. Is it ethical? Not really, but Twitch is actually actively promoting Twitch streamers who are essentially doing the embed method of legal view botting. So this is crazy to me, right? This is actually crazy to me because, you know, this is happening on all sorts of websites all across the, the internet, but to have it be done on a website, that's essentially the parent company is Twitch, right? It's this, it's this endless loop. Like, like what's going on here? How are we going to fix this problem? Um, and you know, the, the problem lies within how Twitch 
enables people to discover new streamers and for years like since the the platform has been around essentially uh the the, the people who are at the top of the games browse page are the people who are going to be the most viewed and it just so happens to be that the people who get pushed to the top are the ones with the most viewers so by this i mean if you click on league of legends you are far more likely to watch one of the top five or ten streamers because a they're at the top they're just boom right there right in front of you and b because twitch twitch pushes them to the top so that they're right there in front of you you're more likely to click on them than you are to scroll down to somebody who no one's watching and click on those guys because why would you right and it's obvious why twitch does this right because if you have 10,000 active viewers then that tells twitch that you know this guy most likely is high quality content who's not offending most people and it's probably safe to promote this channel right it's probably a good channel because of how many people are watching it we should put it at the top because most people are whoever wants to watch this game this guy's probably got one of the best streams right so they kind of order it by you know popularity and how however many viewers you have which is which makes sense right it makes sense but the problem is that it spawns view botting and it spawns this legal form of view botting where you artificially raise your numbers through embedding on web pages sometimes even going as far as to putting a one by one pixel with a one percent volume but again that's probably not as many people as you think but we do still see websites like gamepedia promoting twitch streamers instead of advertisements and that's artificially raising the the view count of these twitch streamers um because the only way to really get discovered on twitch is and has been being at the top of a browse page and and this is twitch's fault right because twitch has done nothing to combat this problem this is obviously why people view bot right people don't want to just see a big number for their view count and have no one talk to them right of course that's stupid why would you want that you're not going to get donations you're not going to get subscriptions you're not going to get paid by having all view botted numbers right the reason people view bot is to get real people to watch their stream uh and and essentially that is organic discovery and twitch has not implemented enough ways for new streamers or small streamers to organically get discovered there's many ways they, they could go about doing this right what they could do and this is just a thought that i just had within the top 10 streamers what if you took two of those spots and just they were random spots right so instead of them being you know the the ninth and tenth most popular streamers they were just random every time you loaded the page it was different right that would be interesting that would be an interesting way to promote people who have one two three five viewers to the people who landed on the browse page right um and, and you know, even then there's so many people streaming a particular game that it still might not be enough so there's ways to get people to discover new twitch streamers um but unfortunately it seems twitch hasn't taken that much initiative to making this happen and unfortunately the browse pages are still organized by viewers which encourages view botting um and it, the cycle continues this is a cyclical problem um and it's really really crazy to think like how are we going to fix this um but it is a problem that needs to be fixed right because it, a it will get more people on twitch because more people will want to stream on twitch if they think that they can grow right now a lot of people feel that they cannot which i don't blame them i'm trying myself and it's very difficult um and b twitch can now charge more for their ad space because they are guaranteeing that most of their views are actual people at least more than it was in, in the past right because if you're embedding a twitch stream somewhere on a web page that no one's looking at it but you're still running an ad on it and advertisers are still paying for that ad space but no one's watching it then you know advertisers are throwing money in the garbage but if they fix this problem then they could say okay here's what we've done now we can guarantee that this percentage of people that used to be you know so off in the middle of nowhere they're actually watching now now they can charge more for ad space so this is actually a win for twitch as well because it gets more people streaming on the platform it gets more money from advertisers it ensures to the advertisers that their view that their ads are actually being seen which is a big big deal and it helps streamers it helps new streamers grow and get seen organically so we need to fix this problem i wanted to bring this video to you guys just to kind of open the dialogue and again i i was inspired by devin by uh you know his video inspired me to make this video which inspired me to do a little bit of research on gamepedia and everything like that um so yeah i kind of went down the rabbit hole but hopefully you, you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps me on this channel get seen organically by other people um subscribe if you're new around here and if you want you can click the bell to get notifications from me if you don't want those notifications i totally get it because i don't like them either you can just follow me on social media uh, in the links below and then you'll know whenever i upload or go live because i'll post there first um with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon Peace.